this video, I'm going to show you how to easily airbrush flesh. I'm going to demonstrate this technique on a Warhammer Underworlds uh, Shade Spire core box model, uh, one of the Chaos guys. So we're going to start off with a real dark color. So you want to base the, the miniatures already primed black, and we're going to use a base coat of charred brown here. So the first thing we're going to always do when we're airbrushing, uh, and I'm using an Iwata Eclipse for this, is uh, we're going to use some airbrush flow improver. Uh, it helps keep the paint uh, wet when you're airbrushing, and it also helps thin it out. Uh, this charred brown is game color, uh, Vallejo Game Air, actually, uh, color. So we're it's already pretty pretty watered down but we will add a little bit of water as well so we're going to do a few drops of this and we're going to do about twice as much as we think we're going to need and the reason for that is we're going to actually mix this color with our next step in the process uh, to give a nice blend so next thing i want to do is i'm just going to mix this up in the airbrush and then take a look at what our consistency of paint is to see if we need to add some water I always like to test that on the side of the airbrush cup to see if the paint will run down. The paint runs down pretty quickly. That's what we're looking for. And it's semi-transparent on my stirring brush here. So we'll go ahead and leave that as it is. We don't need to add any water. All right, so we're just gonna do a base coat. It's pretty thin, so we're gonna base coat them and then let it dry. This base coat, I'm focusing on shooting the miniature with the airbrush. You wanna focus on the front, the sides, the back, and the top. You can leave some black in the crevices. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna hit the bottom just a little bit, just to give it a hint of flesh color, but we're gonna leave the black in most of the, the bottom areas, just because that's gonna be all shadowed anyway. So let's make sure we get a nice solid base coat on the rest of them. Make sure his hands get hit. Anywhere the flesh is exposed, make sure his face gets hit real good. And then I'm gonna let, leave the airbrush run without firing paint through, just pushing air on the miniature right now just to just to help dry the miniature just pushing all air from the airbrush onto the miniature right now all right once we have a good solid base coat we'll go ahead and let him dry a little bit while we make a few changes here so you'll see we still have about half of that paint in the cup which is perfect because we're going to move in with this basic flesh from scale color next this is much thicker paint it is not airbrush paint so we are going to have to water this down but the first step is to just I'm gonna try to gauge about, I want about a 50-50 mix in the cup. So I'm gonna try to gauge how much the cup raises up as I drop this in. That's pretty good right there. And then we're gonna add some water right away because I know I'm gonna need it. Probably about the same number of drops. It was about eight drops. So now with that all in there, we're gonna go ahead and mix it up. We got that mixed up, and as you can see, it's still kind of a chocolatey color. It's very runny, which is what we want. All right, same process here, except now we're not gonna shoot straight from the side. Now we're gonna try to keep it at an upper angle. So if you've watched my Zenithal highlighting video, it's the same process here. We're kind of doing a Zenithal highlight, only we're doing it with skin shades, skin colors. So we wanna do a really good coverage. We're shooting from like about a 45 degree angle at the miniature, so about this kind of a down angle on the miniature. And we're just gonna try to cover everything with this color, with this shade now. But you'll see if we tip the miniature in this direction, you still have that chocolate brown, and you still have some of that real black color. So we'll go ahead and kind of shoot the rest of this from the top, and we're gonna let it dry, and we wanna make sure we hit those hands from the top. And then even, sometimes you wanna just hit the front just a little bit extra. And same thing with the back, because we don't want it to be too dark down there. So hit the back just a little bit extra like that. And then focus on the face. And now the head, you're gonna start to wanna be careful with the head. You don't wanna hit the head sidelong with any of these higher colors, because the head is, is much more, uh, there's much more detail on the head. And you wanna make sure that all this uh, paint comes from the right direction on the head to give you your, your, good, your nice shaded look. So we're still doing pretty good. So you can see that head still has that chocolatey brown on the, underneath the chin and on, on, in some of these dimpled areas. And we're, so we're gonna shoot the rest of our paint on the head from above. So we're gonna be real careful not to hit that with any of our successive colors. So that's our next step there. That's the 50-50 mix. Now we're gonna go to straight basic flesh. So we'll start with just the straight up basic flesh. We're gonna add 
or twice as much as we actually want to paint with. Now we don't need as much this time. So we're gonna do about six drops. That should be fine. So there we go, and it's nice and thin. Look at how quickly it runs on the cup there. So that's looking perfect. And then we'll make sure we don't have a clog by pulling the needle again. Yep, it's nice and thin. So we're gonna, with this, we're gonna lay down very, very thin layers because it's gonna be transparent and we're gonna use the airbrush air to let it dry. So we're just a little bit of paint and then mostly air. We're gonna dry out his shoulder just a little bit. It's a little shiny yet. All right, now again, from this one, we're gonna go more at like 60 degree angle and we're gonna target. We wanna make sure we get that, that head painted just from above and we're gonna target areas and we're just letting a thin layer build up and then we're drying it right away. And we'll move the airbrush closer as well as we do this because we're just doing smaller amounts of paint just to get a nice transparent uh, layer of lighter skin color on him. And we're just down the back a little bit, not much. Just a few squirts of paint and then we're just letting air let that air roll in there, in the top of the hand, and down the knuckles just a little bit. Same thing here, down the knuckles just a little bit, top of the hand, top of the head. And then we're gonna be very careful with the face. We're gonna shoot down the front of the face just a little bit, just to catch some of the raised edges of the face. So there you can see how we just caught just some of the raised edges of the face there. And we're gonna brighten this up yet two more times. So, and we're just gonna hit down the front of the muscles a little bit. And then we're just gonna reinforce the tops of the shoulders, just like that. All right, so there we go, that was the next step. Maybe just a little bit more on the front, just to catch the raised edges of those muscles. That's looking pretty good right there. All right, we're gonna transition to our next color, which is gonna be a 50-50 mix. So we'll go ahead and set him down and let him continue drying. So we've already got some in there. I overdid it, but that's fine, not a big deal. So next up, we're going to go with the pale flesh, pale skin, I'm sorry, uh, from Scale's color as well, Scale 75. And we're probably going to do about four drops because we used about two already. So one, two, three, four. That should get us a nice 50-50 mix. We will have to add a touch more water, but it was pretty watered down already, so we're just going to do one drop in there. And then let's mix it up and see where we're at for consistency. Uh, it should lighten up pretty significantly with that paint in there. One other thing you can do when you're mixing colors like this in the airbrush is back backflow it to help it mix. So we're just gonna plug the end of the airbrush and then we're gonna pull paint, pull the trigger back just a little bit to pull paint and let it mix in there. Now we're gonna shoot this one from almost directly straight above on the miniature, straight 90 degrees, straight down, his, straight down at him from, from the top of his head like this, just like that. Um, and we're just going to do short bursts of paint just to slowly lighten it up. You can see it's starting to lighten it up. And then we're just going to start to target a few areas. We're going to move the, the brush closer and we're going to hold back just a little less. And we're just going to target the chest and target the arms, the tops of the hands, tops of the shoulders, and down the back a little bit. Just like that. Now the face, we're gonna do just the front of the face for the most part, the top of the head, and just down the front of the face lightly. Just like that, so there you can see where we're at. And then our last is gonna be just a, a subtle highlight in just certain areas. We're not gonna do an overall highlight like we just did. All right, we've got that airbrush cleaned out one final time. So we're gonna go just a few drops of foam prover this time because we're just gonna do a quick spot highlight with this pale skin. And with this pale skin, we're just gonna do again a few drops. So let's try it. Just maybe three drops will probably be plenty. So now this time, we're not gonna do an overall like we did. We're just gonna target some areas. So we're just gonna hit the, the very top of the head. And we're just gonna, if you watch my pointer finger, that's where I'm gonna rock back on the trigger. So we're just gonna Rock back ever so slightly, see how close we are, and as soon as we start to see it turn color, we're gonna back off. There we go, back off, let it dry. Same thing again, back off, let it dry. A little bit of paint, back off, let it dry. All right, and we got the nose and the forehead with that, that's all we're really after. We'll get the top of the chest a bit, which we already kinda got with the face. Back off and let it dry. We're gonna get just the tops of the shoulders here. 
Back off, let it dry. Same thing here, top of the shoulder. And then top of the back here as well. And then probably the back of the skull, just a bit. Just like that, looks pretty good. Just a little bit on top of the arms. There you go. So that's what he looks like finished. And then we will do uh, we'll do a wash. Uh, the next steps on this are going to be to do a wash and do highlighting, and we'll put those in the next video. So that's your basic tutorial on airbrushing flesh. And again, you can use multiple different colors. And then make sure you check back in a week or two, uh, and we'll have the uh, conclusion of the skin workup on on this model. As always, let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for watching. For live interactive tutorials, follow Pitts Pilot and subscribe on Twitch. For weekly content including tutorials, tips, and gaming videos, click subscribe here on YouTube. And if you want to see more examples of my work, you can always follow me on social media. Thanks for watching.